Defined as the unauthorized marking of public space by an individual or group, graffiti in its various form has existed since ancient times. It is as old as the human need to communicate and express emotions. Ancient Romans, Greeks, inscribed their thoughts on the walls of their cities. Even the ancient Egyptians had their form of graffiti, carving pictograms into monuments. This need for expression continues into present day, albeit with different tools, mediums and intentions. In our modern world, some people view the art of graffiti as an expression of individual creations, while others may see graffiti as the destruction of property. Graffiti is not just considered art because it's creative, it conveys a powerful message that can impact people's lives on a daily basis. My name is Asher. My name is Abigail. Um... Graffiti on the walls in the area in Kales, I mean in Salt River. It's not bad, it's actually kind of nice. Um, especially the detail that they use with the spray, it's, it's not, it's, they're not sending a bad message. It's like they're writing their own style on the walls. Modern graffiti as we know it today has its roots in the 1960s and 1970s in Philadelphia and New York City. During this period, graffiti was often a means for political expression, with artists using it as a form of protest. Graffiti artists, or writers as they prefer to be called, tag subway cars and walls, aiming for recognition and respect within the community. The late 20th century saw graffiti evolve into an integral part of the burgeoning hip-hop and skateboarding culture. So much so that it's hard to think of one without thinking of the other. Many skate parks now double as shrines to the self-expression of graffiti, and no one ever is going to complain that it's vandalism. I think graffiti is good on walls. It actually makes like it gives some color to the world. For much of its existence, graffiti has been viewed by many as a form of vandalism, an illegal act of defacement. This per perception comes largely from its origin in urban environments where it is seen as an eyesore and sign of urban decay. Attitudes to graffiti has changed considerably over the last two decades with cities like Amsterdam, Berlin and Cape Town embracing graffiti as a cultural asset hosting tours of the highlights for tourists. Palestinian graffiti on the walls is very motivational. It's a movement which needs to be in consideration in everyone's mind. You don't need to be Muslim to support Palestine, you just need to be human. Graffiti tends to be framed as vandalism and consequently has received considerable of attention amongst criminologists and policymakers. I'm aware that people use graffiti to promote bad things, such as gangsterism, which is bad. For me, stay away from gangsterism because it's not the place where you want to be. You know what I mean. Much of this attention has been through the lens of the broken window theory. The broken window theory suggests that small criminal acts such as graffiti within a community creates an environment that breeds more serious crime. I don't have anything bad to say about graffiti. All I have to say is continue and add some colour to the world, you know. Be creative, do what you like. It also depends what you write on the walls and what you create on the walls. It can be something good, it can be something bad. Graffiti is a prime example of how art is subjective. From an outsider or someone who doesn't understand the art of graffiti, it may not seem like art, while others who appreciate it may see it as an expression of self, love and life. from owners.
things where you can use the spray paint to say. If there is no consent, then it is vandalism, but still hot. Graffiti is art regardless of whether it is on someone else's property with or without their permission. You have to do something with emotion, how you feel. You're gonna paint it. If you're happy, you're gonna find something happy. If you're depressed, you're gonna find something depressing, but it's gonna make you feel better at the end of the day. It's like expressing your feelings. What Graffiti art. can also be used to decorate street and empty walls with the permission of the owners. Who create graffiti see themselves as artists expressing themselves on the public canvas and the grammar of graffiti its medium and techniques is now the basis of some of the most imaginative and beautiful and poignant street art out there all with the blessing of property owners and communities <laughs>